Hello, hello, my name is Alexa Ray Taylor and I'm here giving you the information, inspiration and motivation to help you lead a great life, resilient to circumstance. Okay, I have a call I have to be on in a little over an hour, so I'm not hungry at all, but I'm going to so start soaking the liver, and I'll show you what I do to soak it. Um, you can soak it in milk, and it helps to take away the flavor, or the, not the flavor, the that kind of like bitteriness, uh, bitterish taste to it. Um, but I don't mind it, I actually kind of like that, so I'm just going to soak it in water. And the reason why it's helpful to soak it, you don't have to soak it, but it's helpful to soak it because um, it works better for when you're uh, breading it. So I think it was about like 11, 30, 12 when I um, first put this, uh, or took this out of the freezer and it's completely defrosted. It doesn't take long to defrost at all. Um, really quick. Right now it is 2.57. gonna cut it open. This is a pound of liver and I'm gonna toss it in here just so I can wash it. I'm gonna throw that away really quickly. I'm gonna toss some water on it. Just kind of move it around. Drain. The camera cut off because I had an alarm go off but there it is. And it's just soaking in water. I have enough to cover it. Um, and you know what I'm actually gonna do? That water's a little bit warm, so I'm gonna make it cold. Hey guys, so I got the time wrong. I actually need to be on that sooner than I had thought. So I've only been letting that, that's only been soaking for 10, ten minutes, um, which is fine, as I mentioned. And I'm gonna set, set the timer on my iPad to just show you how quick this is. I don't really know how quick it is, so hopefully it is quick as it feels like when I do it. So I'm gonna set the timer to go in. Um, and let's go. Okay, so, oh, I brought the receipt to show you how much it costs, just to show you how cheap the liver is. All right, so the beef liver was two, $2.48. And the calf liver is a dollar more. It was three dollars and forty-eight cents. And this is at Walmart. Okay, so really cheap for a pound. That's a pound, two dollars and forty-eight cents. So right now I'm gonna take some butter. Um, let's see what it says. Like a, a fourth or a tablespoon. What it's called um, of butter, and I'm gonna toss it in there and just turn it on on like medium, medium high, so it can. Um, start melting really quickly. So I can, don't gotta wait that long. I'll go ahead and cover it. So I got a pot cover. <laughs> um, and then now I'm gonna cut the onions. I have one and a half onions. And I think this is what I'll use. I, I'm not sure I may wanna use less, but I'm gonna use, start with one and a half and I'll let you know if I use in all of it. So one onion turned out good for me. So I used one large onion. And that's how much is there. So the butter is melted and I'm just going to toss it in. And I'm going to get a fork. And I'll just stir it down. Yeah, one onion is perfect for one pound. Yeah, one large onion. Stir it around and cover it. I'm, I want some cabbage with my, uh, my, bet, my, my liver. So I'm going to cut some cabbage right here I have like it's like a uh, one and a fourth or a half three quarters of uh, cabbage I'm gonna cut that up and just steam it nothing special alrighty so I have I have the, my cabbage here I just cut it up I am I just toss some water in it just a little bit and I'm gonna leave it like that I don't want to put any salt or anything on that I'll do that at the table if I want to if I want to add salt or pepper to it I know it's like my mom for instance she likes to add like I think butter and, and salt and pepper and some other stuff I'm just gonna leave it plain I'm gonna turn it on right now but I like to do when I'm cooking vegetables I don't know how anyone else does it but I um, turn it on high 
I let it boil for like maybe two, three minutes and then I turn it off and then just allow it to steam. Um, and right now the onions are good. They're about soon, soon ready to be taken out. And then after that, I'm gonna just put it aside into a separate bowl and I'm gonna start breading the liver. So when it comes for the breading for the liver, I use flour, just regular all-purpose flour. Um, and I'm gonna put like three quarters cup. I know this is a, a wet measure, liquid uh, measure, but I'm gonna use it, and I usually use it. Let's see, three quarters. Yeah, that's just about three quarters. And dump it on the plate of this plate right here. You know what? I'm gonna actually add. I'm gonna go ahead and add a cup. That looks fine. All right. So about a cup of flour. I, for my seasonings, you can use whatever seasonings. You know when you, you watch a recipe or you listen to someone, you know, uh, doing a recipe and they use these seasonings and you're like, well, do you have to use this? You don't have to use what I'm about to show you. You can use whatever you want. Um, a lot of people just put salt and pep black pepper. I like a little bit more taste to it when it comes to liver. So I'm, gonna, I'm using red pepper powder, uh, this like blend, this seasoning blend. There's black pepper, uh, spices, onion, garlic, celery seeds, parsley. Um, and I have salt, black pepper, and Italian seasoning. So I took the onions out and just have them sit in there. And what I do is I just start tossing it in randomly, you know? Not, I don't measure specifically. That was the red pepper and then the seasoning. Like mixed seasoning. In a rush, if you can't tell. Just to make sure I get in on time. Um, and then salt. Let's see how much did I say this is. You want to use salt. Um, I'd say that's about a teaspoon and a half that I just put in there. Maybe less. Probably less. A teaspoon and a half sounds like a lot. But. And then right here I have Italian seasoning. So you're just gonna have you need to season the flour to your taste. And what I do is just take a spoon and I just mix it like that. Pretty simple. More than a cup that I just put in. I say you'd only need a cup, but I kind of guesstimated the last bit of it. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the Italian and a little bit more of uh, the next seasoning. It's called nature seasoning. All right. So now I'm gonna put some more butter. So this is like a fourth that I'm putting in there the second time around. a loaf right now with the butter melt. And then when we're cooking it, we're going to turn it on high. Um, because with liver, it gets really stiff if you like try to cook it slowly and um, let it's, all the heat just seep in. It gets really stiff. So I'm draining the liver. So I have the liver right here. I'm just gonna take it out. You can cut this if you want. Um, I'm not going to though. But my mom, for instance, she cuts it because it's like kind of long. Just put it in there, both sides, get them all coated.
in. Once it's all coated, you can go ahead and toss it in. Okay. This is when I'm going to put it on like high, medium high, not not super high, but medium high. Um, grab another piece. This this right here, this pot, the size can only hold like two pieces. So can you see that? Yeah. Just turn it in, pat it down. I'm gonna wash my hands and then cover the pot. So I'm getting kind of hungry. It's 2:37 right now, so I have a slice of cheese. Um, I'm gonna get, get getting ready to flip this now. It's been on for like maybe on the same side for like maybe two three minutes now. Alright, so I'm removing it now. Okay, both sides are pretty much done. I'm going to add some more oil because the oil is like, uh, not oil, I keep saying oil, um, butter. Alright, so another fourth of butter. Like that. Melting. Let me cover that so I can turn it down too for now. Um, so the splatter. Okay. The reason you're seeing a lot of steam right now is because um, it's kind of some pieces in here right now. I'm fine with that, someone else may not be. Um, so I'm going to take the rest of the liver. There's two pieces left. Better to have more flour than than not, you know, just to stop and pour it out and get the seasonings and all that stuff again. That happened to me last time. So looks like we're gonna have some leftover flour in it today. I'm just gonna toss it away. I'm toss in the garbage. Alright, so got that threaded. Toss that in. And last but not least. Last but not least. This works with breadcrumbs too. I think that's what my mom uses. I don't care for all the stuff that they put in that. All right, we're good. So it's basically done. I'm going to turn the heat down to low, medium, and I'm going to toss in this. What I like to do for this last step is toss in olive oil. You can use more butter, but I like all to toss in olive oil. Toss in some of that, and I'm going to put the rest of the liver, the other, I mean the other portion of it, in the pot or the pan. And I'm going to toss those onions that we used in the first step in the pot, too. Um, I meant to cut the liver. I'll do that while it's in the pot, but you can you want to cut the liver first, but you don't want those like, big pieces. So you're trying to top turn those. And then um, that's it. That's it. You just well, kind of let it all go together, but I'm going to cut it, and then that's it. Then your yeah. liver is done. I'll show you the finishing. Uh, meal when I'm done. I just want to say that after like a couple minutes, like not even long, like two, three minutes, um, I just shut it off and now it's just kind of getting all the flavors and juices together. 
Okay, so right here I have 39 minutes and 48 seconds, so basically 40 minutes. 40 minutes it took me to make all that. This is excluding, of course, the defrosting, but you know, who puts that in part of the recipe? Um, so 40 minutes, that's it. Really simple. And there you have it. So if you're looking for a high uh, protein, high fat, low carb meal, this is very yummy. You got cabbage and liver. Yum, yum, yum. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, leave comments down below if you'd like to. Maybe you have a different way and you want to share it. Um, I'll see you in the next video.